Hi, my name's Kiva, and today I read The Yelling by Marjorie Kinnan Rowling. That's about Jody and his unusual pet. Jody lives on a farm with his father and mother and animals on the farm. Jody enjoys hunting with his father and the two um, dogs. Um, Jody wishes he could have a pet like his friend Fodderwing, who lives on the next farm over there, neighbor's farm. Because Fodderwing has tons of animals, but Jody's mother disapproves him. The, the, their neighbors and Jody having a pet. One day, when Jody and his father are going to their neighbor's house to retrieve their hogs with theirs, soon the neighbors had token when they were hunting them. Um, they went over to the house, and Jody's father accidentally gets bitten by a snake on their way there. Jody and his father start heading home jo while Jody's father is telling Jody to go to the, to the neighbors and get two people to cut, one to get the doctor and one to pick up Jody. Jody's father is heading home when he kills a deer and uses the liver to draw out the poison of the rattlesnake. When Jody's leaving his father to start to start heading home because his father told him to, he sees a fawn peeking out of the bushes. Jody wonders if it's the fawn of the of the mother deer Jody's father just killed. Jody retrieves the two people, one to get the doctor and one to rest, get Jody's father. On, and when Jody finally makes it home, his father's in bed resting. The doctor says he may or may not live. Jody thinks if his father's alive now, he probably still will live. The next day, when Jody's father's feeling better, Jody asks him if he could retrieve the phone. Jody's father says, I don't see why not, since the mother dear ha helped me. Jody goes out with two of the neighbors who are just finally leaving to retrieve the fawn. Jody ends up getting the fawn and um, bring it home. Jody's mother disapproves of the fawn, as long, except if Jody takes care of it and gives it his milk as a meal time. Now I'm going to read you a funny part of the book. It was so good to have a fawn to be relieved of a dull, lonely ache that had overtaken him so often that he was filled with gratitude for his mother's tolerance of it present. There's no question but that it did require a great deal of milk. It undoubtedly got in her way. It came into the house one day and discovered a pan of cornbread, syrup, and ready for baking. It, it had cleaned the pan. Since then, it had eaten green leaves, cornmeal mixed with water, bits of biscuit, almost anything. It had to be shut up in the shed when the back stairs ate. It butted and bleated and knocked dishes out of their hands. Ma Baxter was tolerant, but she was never amused. Judy pointed out its charms. Ain't his eyes pretty, Ma? They see a pan of cornbread too fur. Well, ain't he got a cute fool's tail, Ma? All dears' flags look the same. But Ma, ain't he a cute fool's? Fool's, all right. And that's the funny part of the book. All right, I hope you love The Yearling by... Marjorie Kinnan Rowling. It's an amazing book for all ages. It has 15, 5, 513 pages. It's awesome. Thank you. Bye. See you after summer.